Hi friends, welcome back to the vlog. Went to Ohio, no, went to Nebraska. I keep wanting to say Ohio, Omaha, Nebraska. I said I was gonna vlog. That turned out to be way harder of an endeavor than I accounted for considering I had my toddler with me and I was trying to keep him out of things and talk to people and do all the things and vlogging just dropped way down on the priority list. I did vlog a little but it is not it's not a no I'm not uploading that it's a hot mess is what it is. I did eat a little off plan over in uh, Omaha because saying like I ate dairy okay I ate a little dairy we had the pleasure of eating with our good friends from Keto Chow and Joe and Rachel from Two Crazy Ketos and several other people they had a little cookout dinner get together there were some dishes that had dairy I was starving I ate everything and it was delicious and I do not regret it at all. By the way, big shout out to Rachel from Two Crazy Ketos because she was a real blessing while I was in Omaha. She played with Beckett while I ate so that I could eat. <laughs> uh, she played with him while we were at the event when I was talking to some people. She was a real blessing. A lot of people played with Beckett. <laughs> um, so, uh, Crystal Sykes, she gathered him up because Ken took him to play outside and when I went outside apparently Beckett was getting into stuff Ken wasn't really watching him and Crystal came to save the day Crystal's a natural mother I cannot wait to see her be a mom she's gonna be such an amazing mom anyway shout out to those two and anybody else who lended me a hand while we were in Omaha Beckett is done traveling I asked him when we got back several times are you do you want to go on another trip do you want to go on an airplane again and he was like no no at one point he was like, no, he's over it. I, I think he had fun, but I don't think it was a, a thing that he, um, it was a lot for him. So if we do go to another event, which we have one coming up in the next month, although it breaks my heart to be away from him, I also know I'm unable to give him my undivided attention. It's, it's not really kid friendly. He was the only child there. For most for the most part I barely saw it I think maybe there's one other kid at the end of a day like they had picked him up from school and brought him or something so he was by himself there were no kids to play with I just I think that I'm gonna leave him with my mother his grandma for the next one just because it's just it's not fair to him even though I want him to be with me it's not really fair to him to take him to those things and I felt that, like I was doing him a favor by bringing him with me because he was gonna be with mama uh, but it wasn't it's not really fair to him to put him through that travel time and him be you know kind of in this chaos of being around a bunch of people which he did fine he's a people person he's never met a stranger but you understand what I'm saying I think the real good would come from him being with his grandma and actually doing the things that he wants to do and continuing his daycare schedule, which is, you know, he goes to my mom. My mom's a teacher. She's retired. She retired when I had Becca and she teaches him. We all teach him, but he goes there and specifically has a toddler curriculum. Okay. You know, he learns his ABCs and his colors and he can count to 20 and he can say his ABCs. He gets flubbed up on elemental P like most of us did when we were kids. But he's on track. I think he's doing extremely well. He, he is a very smart baby. We do a lot of activities to help him learn too. Anyways, long story long, I think I'm gonna leave him with my mom next time because it's just, I think it's the best thing for him, even if it's not the best thing for me because I will be sad and uh, maybe a little stressed out, but it will give me the opportunity to talk to more people and interact and actually learn. Because uh, even though I've been doing this for a while, you know, I am no one knows it all. We're still learning. I, I am a lifetime student. I try, all right, mostly to come at things, everything, including nutrition, uh, with the openness to thinking, oh, maybe I am wrong about this, 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 or this, or whatever. 
And so, yeah, I'm constantly learning. I listen to people in the keto sphere. I listen to people who hate keto. I get both sides of the spectrum and that really opens my eyes to thinking about things differently. Uh, a lot of you maybe are following some people who are talking about seed oils now and how seed oils are maybe not that big of a deal. Maybe don't worry about them. Don't worry about seed oils. And uh, Dr. Barry obviously says seed oils are horrible and you shouldn't consume them at all. I think there's probably a middle ground here where the do I heard another expert say the dose makes the poison and I tend to agree with that. If you're over consuming those type of things then yeah they're probably bad for you but if you are sporadically having you know a, a dinner at a restaurant where there are seed oils I don't know that that's going to impact your life as much as cutting out processed oversaturated with sugar type of food I'm in a very busy area you know what I'm saying I come to things at more of a realistic point of view like not everyone's going to be able to be seed oil free every single day of their life you are out in the world you know you're exposed to things it's a real world type scenario in my head anyways I don't think that they're super healthy but I also think you know the argument can be made for both sides here like pretty much everything in nutrition if you really do your research and don't stay in the keto hole the low carb hole like listen to other people all right because there's something to be said with listening to both sides of the story I'm not saying that I think seed oils are good I'm just saying maybe they are not the end-all be-all and you should maybe go do some research as well. Dr. Um, Brett Shear did a whole podcast where he got both sides of the story. It was a very well done podcast, very objective uh, and I think it's really good information. So I will link that in the description for you guys because I think that is worth listening to if you are interested in this whole seed oil debate. With that said, I am in Huntington, Tennessee again going to the chiropractor. I also need to go to Walmart. Let me just say something about how I'm feeling about food right now. I am bored to tears. I am unimpressed by anything on my plate. I eat because I need to eat, but I'm not like, man, I can't wait to tear into this ribeye. Man, I can't wait to tear into this bacon. Man, I can't wait to tear into these eggs. It ain't there. I'm going through a season of boredom. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm not excited to eat. I don't get look forward to eating. It's like it's just something that I do, which I guess is normal if you think about it. Getting that worked about about food is probably not the norm, but this has been going on for like three weeks now, and I just am so annoyed. And I guess some of that comes from the fact that I'm not allowing myself to integrate dairy into my way of eating right now. I am almost done with this month. I am almost done with this month, okay? I had two days that were off, like, give, I'm gonna cut myself some slack. I was not at home, you know, it's harder to do things. And I was a guest, so. Several of the things that like break up my monotony involve dairy. Now, here's my plan on bringing the dairy back. I'm bringing dairy back. Yeah. I plan to do it in a way where I'm not having heavy cream every single day in my coffee because I do think that it, my skin is much clearer. Now I do have a little pimple over here, okay, but I think that's maskiny from the mask because I was wearing a mask a lot. I was in the airport, we had all these delays, I was on the airplane, like I had a mask on me for what probably added up to be around, you know, 14, 16 hours. Maybe that's that. The rest of my face is doing really well. So I do think that dairy, you know, maybe affects my skin. So I'm going to integrate it back in a more like a moderation. I hate that word, but let's go with it. Moderation, dairy in moderation. So like maybe two days out of the week, I'll allow for cream in my coffee. And maybe two or three days out of the month, I will do cheese on um in an, in a recipe that's my plan and i think that that is fine i think that's gonna work out well for me because i'm not someone who has to have cheese every day anyways and i've be i've become used to not having heavy cream in my coffee and there are many alternatives that turn out to be really good and that some of you have sent me a few that haven't tried yet and i'm going to um now keep in mind i'm trying to stay away from almond milk because i am I say I can't eat almonds because of Hashimoto's. People get really worked up about that because no one talks about it. Just because nobody's talking about it doesn't mean it's not true. 
it means they haven't looked into it deep enough. Almonds are highly inflammatory for many, many people. If you are someone who has an autoimmune disease, you are hypersensitive to foods who are inflammatory. It stands to reason that almonds would probably not be great for someone with an autoimmune issue. I myself used to love almonds and almond flour became a part of, you know, cooking and things. But when I started really paying attention to how I felt because I was cutting out all these other things, my inflammation, my pain, um, all those type of things seemed to be heightened on the days that I was eating almonds in particular. Nuts in general, I don't do great with, but almonds specifically, no, not great. However, I will say I'm going to try almond milk because I think I can integrate it in as I am the dairy in moderation. We're gonna, do, we're gonna give it a go, all right? But if you are someone with Hashimoto's and you are still having a lot of symptoms, maybe try comment, cutting the almonds out and the almond flour and the almond milk if you're using that and just see how it goes. I am not over here saying a blanket statement about anybody with Hashimoto's. I think there are some people who can have dairy, like myself, and it not really affect Hashimoto's, but maybe have other effects. Same with nuts. Same with nightshades. I do ex fine with nightshades. Now, I'm not over here eating them every single day either. But I don't see any problem with my body and nightshades. Or someone else who has Hashimoto's cannot have nightshades. Okay? That's where you have to become your own health expert. That's an entirely different video that maybe I'll do next week. I don't know. All right. I'm going to walk into my appointment now. Good talk. Uh, I'm going to ask the girl if she will let me film my laser treatment. She's really nice, so I think she won't mind. Um, yeah, so let's go. I had my phone set up. She was totally fine with me recording it, and I did not hit record. So I'll do it next time. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a coffee now. Can I do a medium cold brew? We don't have cold brew right now. Our machine is broken. Oh still. no. Um, can you do a double shot espresso? Yeah. Over yeah. ice. All right. And then do you have unsweetened almond milk? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. And that's it. And you want it in a small cup or a uh, medium cup. Okay. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, got my coffee. Now there's a cute little small boutique up on the square. And I'm going to go see if they have any... Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna see if they have any fall decor that I just absolutely need. I don't need it. Yes, I do. As a young girl, it feels worse. We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer Alright, I am back home. I'm gonna show you what I picked up at the Walmart. So... I got a big pack of pork steaks. Uh, we really like pork steaks more than pork chops. I haven't had these in a while, so maybe this will um, be better. These were $3.98 a pound. Not bad. Then I also got two packs of the Butt Country Style Ribs right here. Nice and fatty. These were $4.14 a pound. Last time I got them, they were they were cheaper than this, but that's still, I'll take it. Two packs of those. They had lids and bands today, so I went ahead and picked these up. I haven't done any canning yet, but these are hard to find, and I plan on canning, so I went ahead and got some. There were only four. I took two. I didn't want to be a douche. Strawberries for the Beckett. Cornish game hens. I do these in the oven. They're really, really good. You can do them in the crock pot too. 
but a little change from the all beef just over it. Loki, I got four of those, so two packs. These were $7.87 for two, and I got two packs. Now I picked up two of these big five pound ground beefs. This is for Daga. Um, so I'll just cook it up, put it in a container in the refrigerator, and then he gets some every day. I also got the ground beef was $15.24 for five pounds, and I got two of those. And then I also got two containers of chicken livers to put in there for him. These were $1.73 a pound, and I think there's two pounds in each of them. For Daga, he totally will eat some of that too, and Loki will too. She really likes ground beef a lot. I needed some more wood utensils. I just like cooking with these a lot more than the metal ones. And I picked up, I didn't have a one cup measuring cup, so I needed one of those. Raspberries, also for Beckett. They were out of goat milk. They've been out of goat milk in our area, like for a minute. And they had one, but it was blowed up, like it had been setting out. It didn't look good, so I didn't get it. And hey, come look at this milk and tell me what you think. The Fair Life Whole Ultra Filtered Milk Lactose Free. This is not what I wanted, but my kid needs milk. And this was like the best option, I guess. Ultra filtered, not pasteurized. Yeah, and lactose, <clears throat> it says lactose free, but it says whole. So usually the lactose free is fat free or low fat. This one mm -hmm. actually is whole, so it has um, fat in it. It's got eight grams of fat per cup. Yeah. Not ideal, but it'll do for now. I mean, he's got to have milk, so. Yeah, it'll do. So this is what Becky, I got two of these until I can get goat milk, but you know, it is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. When you live in a little town, you, your options are somewhat limited. That little boutique I went to, I did get some decorations. So I got this pumpkin and it says happy fall. This was $30. Um, I usually get most of my decor from like Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's or whatever, but I'm trying to do better about shopping small for things too. So when I find something that I like, that like truly like, then I try to get it from a small business. So this is from the Gift Grove in Huntington. And this was, I just, this is soft. It's almost like a pillow. I do have a toddler, so I can't be decorating with things that are breakable. So this is perfect. Also got a dough bowl. These are super trendy and they're probably fixing to go out of style, which is kind of why I went ahead and got one because I like them. Not because they're trendy, because I just, I just like them. And you can put like pumpkins in here, pine cones, or whatever you want. You can change it up with the season. So this was really cute. This was $33. I got some flowers from Walmart too. I love getting fresh flowers and Walmart has them pretty cheap, you know. Y'all are gonna like this. This is so cute. It's a little serving platter and it says, don't go bacon my heart. And then it's got little tongs that says making bacon. <laughs> uh, isn't that cute? That's so Southern mama, but I think it's adorable. And then this was, 20 something, I think, $27, no, 20, yeah, $27, this was $27. So, I make a lot of bacon, I need to take photos of my food, at least this would make it look a little cute, so I got that. Fits the theme, meat, you know? I don't know if they have these in your area, but in this area, these are a big thing for kids. My best friend, um, she lives in Huntington and they have these at their house and Beckett loves them. I don't know what you would call them. Poppers and you push down on the little things and they just, I don't know, it's kind of like a fidget spinner type thing. And then you can do it from this side too. And Beckett loves balls. So I got him a baseball and a football one. He's gonna love these, I just know it. And then I got a few more pumpkins. Look, it's almost September, so if you're not ready for fall, I'm very sorry. I hate summer, but 
like this little pumpkin. This is ceramic, but it'll be going high, so Becca can't get to it. $12 for that one. These are traditional colors. I like traditional colors. The trend this year is like muted neutrals. I just, not my thing. $12.99 for this one. And then this one was $12.99 as well. Beckett's birthday is in October and we're doing a boo to you, boo to you thing because he's turning two. So I'm gonna do a lot of fall decor. Where last year I didn't really go all out for fall and Halloween. Uh, but this year I am because I want the house to look really cute for his birthday party, which is good. It's just going to be, you know, a few people, but still pictures, you know, I got a flag at Walmart. I don't love this, but last year I waited and then I couldn't find them anywhere. So that's what I got. pretty too, Toto. I just finished a coaching call. Ken is still doing an interview. The ribs are done. I'm starving. So I'm going to try to eat quietly while he finishes up. And you're not getting the result you want. You know, you think you're 90 pounds overweight and you only lost 50 pounds. Try the other way. Yes. <laughs> What's for my dinner? What's for your dinner? I already ate some. No, I was talking to the oh. viewer. Oh, okay. Not you. Oh, I'm so very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have ribs to eat. You know, people are really concerned that we don't sit at the table and eat together. We do, at least once a day. I know, but like in our videos. When I'm filming these videos, these are work days. Yeah. And so and I... My work is to eat these ribs. Yeah, so he's going to eat at his desk while he edits... And, and does all the things, and I do the same thing, so. Yeah, and then we meet in the middle. Yeah. I promise you, we spend way more time together than most couples do. Oh, uh, yeah, way more time than we used to. Uh, oh, yeah, because I was you were working, working 12, 12 hours shifts. And I was at the clinic all day. All day. Yeah, yeah. And then we were both trying to do YouTube, and you were writing a book, like, oh, my Do you ever get God. sick of me and want me to just get out of here? No, but it's shocking to me. It's weird, right? It is. Like, like not in a bad a time, way. I just feel like this is going to be a podcast episode. Because, like, working together as a couple. Because, yeah. really, when we first started dating, people were like, why don't you work at the clinic with him? And I was like, why? Yeah. No. That's a recipe for disaster. No couples should ever work together. <laughs> uh oh, -uh, no. Yeah. And now, here we are. Literally, we it's 24-7 up each other's butts, basically. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. We don't, I don't want to say we never fight, but we never fight. That when, smells like bullshit. When did we fight? I cannot remember the last thing we got into it about. I don't, I mean, we've never had a fight while living here or not living even in the Nashville. house in Nashville or in the apartment that I can remember. Well, things maybe. were tense at well, the Well, yeah, apartment. but you were pregnant as and yeah. a lot of stuff went down. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, I don't even know. Maybe it was at the old farmhouse. No, we did. We got into it when I was, after everything happened, and I ate some cookies. Mm, and well, you, you were you were chemically, you know. Yeah, I, I said I don't feel good, and you were like, "Cause you ate cookies." And I was like, <laughs> "I know I ate cookies. Can I not complain to you?" And you were like, "Not when it's because you." I was like, you, "Oh, because this you thing, did it to yourself. this thing, guys, guys think that." She meant, oh, I, I need a solution, and she just wanted me to listen, but I was trying to solve a problem that didn't exist. He still didn't stop. Yeah, he yeah, was like, yeah. I'm just going to keep telling you that you shouldn't eat stupid cookies. <laughs> over and over. 
you know, somehow get it in your head that that was that's I the was solution. I was crying, and he was like, "Yeah, don't eat cookies, stupid." <laughs> he didn't say stupid, but maybe I did. I don't know. You might have said stupid. I don't know. Can I go eat my ribs now? I'm so sorry. Yes, you can go Thank eat you. your ribs. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> we got packages. Pink Lily. I don't know. Refrigerate on arrival. Oh boy. I don't know what that is. I guess I need to open it. It says it needs refrigerating. He's like a goat. He just climbs on things. I'm gonna be real honest with you. That was tasty. I'm still not, like I'm full. I'm not hungry, but I'm just kind of meh about it. I'm just kind of meh about food. Anyway, I got some packages, so I'm gonna open them because I think one of them is food, so. Egg life. Yay, I was out. Yay, maybe this will help. Maybe this will help with my boredom. I'm gonna try to make, so my mom has this recipe for enchiladas that she's been making since I was little. And I wanna keto -fy it. So I'm gonna give that a go with the Southwest ones, which are my absolute favorite flavor. Yay. Egg life to the rescue. Yay. Oh, Italian ones. I haven't tried these ones yet. Like all the flavors. Yay. Thank you, egg life. You saved me. Mm, pink lily. So they sent me, oh, they sent me a bunch of packages. Those are cute. Oh, those are really cute. All right. They sent me a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna go through all that. If you wanna see that, I'll probably do a fall fashion video. I know some of you don't care about fashion. I do, okay. Clothes are cute. Outfits make me feel good about myself. Make me feel like I've got my things together, even when I don't. I'll do a fashion video probably in the next few weeks and a fall decorating video and all the things. I'm gonna go put these in the refrigerator. I'm gonna end this vlog here because Beckett Berry is gonna be home soon. And I try not to really vlog when he's home because you know, he's a baby, he needs my attention. And if I'm vlogging, I'm not really paying attention to him. Yada, 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 yada. I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.